Welcome back to another episode of Fishing and Junk. This weekend, we're camping down at Camel Wake Campground in Bristol, Florida. This campground is a 10 site campground in the Apalachicola Forest area. It has a nice little lake out here. I can't wait to get out there and try that. My wife's sitting over there and the camp dog, we're all just ready to have a nice weekend. Fishing and Junk! We left work on Friday around lunchtime. It took us a couple hours to drive down. The drive down was pretty nice, but this two mile stretch of dirt road leading to the campsite seemed like it took forever, especially pulling this camper. But we were all getting pretty excited the closer we got. Especially when we saw the water Our campsite was centrally located near the bathhouse with a nice view of the lake. Of course, I've got the kayak all set up and ready to go. And we've got the hammock set up in the shade ready to chill out. And there's my wife, Bama Glamper, waving at us. She's ready to have a nice weekend. And what's under here? None other than our camp dog, Bree, relaxing and taking in the shade. There was a really nice path that I could pull the kayak down to the lake. All right, well, it's time to get in the kayak and let's check this lake out. I see fish jumping out there. All right, here we go. Man, that takes the breath out of you just getting out of here. Wow, there is a lot of the grass under here. Hmm, this is going to be difficult. I don't think I'm prepared for this. There's a ton of grass down here right under the surface of the water. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I just had one of those times when you just get out on the kayak and you get out there and then you see what's underneath the surface of the water and realize you don't have the gear you need to really fish it. But I got to go around this little lake a little bit and check it out. When I come back out, I'll have the right gear and maybe I can get on a few fish. So I'm going to head on in and spend some time with the wife and the dog and we're going to grill some hamburgers and enjoy the night. And It's our second day here at Camel Lake Campground. This morning I got up early and went out fishing with my son-in-law Dylan. I'll have that video up next week on my channel. But after we got back, my daughter and son-in-law, they went out fishing and we kept our granddaughter Hadley. We explored the campgrounds. A nice stroll around the park is always fun. Of course, we had to get down in the beach sand and check it out. You like that? There's a piggy. Come here, piggy. What better way to get the sand off than dipping your toes in the lake? Please <laughs> eat them too, please. <laughs> so the campground has a really nice day use area also with a bathhouse for the day use, a nice covered pavilion, a lot of benches and picnic tables and a nice beach area.
The campground also has clearly marked walking paths and they're very well maintained. It also has clean, centrally located bathhouse for the campground as well. Hey, there's our rig. Let's go see what's for supper. The sun's starting to set and we've got some nice steaks on the grill. They say it's gonna be raining tomorrow, so hopefully we can get hooked up and get out of here before the rain comes. But it's been a pretty good day. I went fishing with my son-in-law this morning. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, we got to keep the our granddaughter with us on her first camping trip with us. Ribeye, sweet potato, and a nice cold adult beverage with a view of the lake. You can't beat that. When we go camping, I always love to go down to the lake as the sun's setting and make a few casts. It's Sunday morning. We got to hook up. We got to head back. We got to get ready for another work week. We've got the camper all hooked up. We're just locking down a few things inside and getting ready to head out. Hope you enjoyed this look at Camel Lake Campground and a little bit of what we do when we go camping. I didn't get the chance to get back out in the kayak. Uh, checkout time here is at 12 o'clock, which is a little early, and we had the threat of weather coming, so I wasn't able to make it out back out on the water. But overall, this is a really well-maintained campground. It is, I, it is really nice. And I would suggest it to anyone that's down in this area to give it a try. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, get out there and cast your cares away.